sabuni kama safi hata ukioga mwezi moja si mbaya e, baba mtoto anaweza kuoga kuoga mwezi moja ati kwa sababu hakuna sabuni sijui hata nitasema nini acha tutumalize kukagua na unajua baadaye litakuwa wallet <laughs> ah, wale, kando na hiyo hmm. kando na hiyo hmm. unajua mtoto maybe tuli ah, tuli yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, mali yeah. analala kuna baridi yeah, yes kasema mtoto anajua kitu ya muhimu sana ni malazi akishapata malazi mahali atalalia inaweza mm. kuwa muhimu sana so tukasema at least tembe na hii Hello hello guys. It's your boy Andanje TV. Na leo tumekuja na udaku ingine. Na hii sio udaku. Ni kitu kingine ile tuna ile story yetu ya kawaida ya baby Janelle. So guys, today I'm very surprised and totally surprised. Niko na mgeni hapa. Mkisikiza story yake, huyu nani tofauti na wale wenye wanakujanga kuiba mtoto? Huyu ani amekuja alinipigia tu jana usiku ako kwa barabara anatoka Mombasa na akanielezea penye anatoka huko nyumbani kumbe ni jamaa asheiniona ama tushaipatana tukiwa wadogo so amenipigia kwamba anatoka Mombasa anakuja Nairobi kuja kunitembelea na akafika na tunajua mtu akitoka Mombasa venye si tunajua ah hakuna njaa so guys nataka ni muintroduce ama ji introduce aambie ni nani anatoka wapi na ako na lengo gani okay so mimi naitwa Jake Galu this guy andanje tv ni mtu tumejuana naye for a long time si ati ni mtu tumejuana naye jana ama juzi vile anaambia ati jana amempigia simu ni mtu tumekuwa tunaongea naye for the longest time but hivi karibuni like two, one to two months ago kuna story pale nilianza kuona social media about kulikuwa na story fulani ilikuwa inaendelea pale mtoi wake wakati ali alipata ali mtoi yule baby mama wake aliweza kumu aliweza kumu kumuacha na kaenda zake so that's the time i tried to call my brother here and kamuliza your story but akaniambia hiyo kitu yote nyumeona it's very true ah nikamwambia uko serious my brother hiyo si story una try ku chase cloud ama kufanya nini akaniambia ni ukweli if you want to believe kuja kuja uone na nyenye nikasema acha niende tu niende ni ni muone at least tuone vile tutasaidiana so that's when nilifika na brother amenikaribisha vizuri sana to nimeona ana struggle anangangana being a single father by the way si raisi si kitu raisi vile nyinyi mnafikiria pale nje cause ni muone watu wengi sana wana try ku troll social media at yo you are cloud chasing siju you are doing what ukifika kwa ground ndio utajua maneno yenyewe si cloud chasing it's a serious matter na watu wenye mko pale nje mko mna type pale mtu nakaa chini unaandika unasema at yo sijui at tunajua mama yake ako behind the camera mama mgani ako behind the camera this story is very true na if you want to believe it when i toka mali huko mali umekaa pale ukitai pale mama ako behind the camera ukuje kwa ground jone maneno vile iko the guy is really struggling to raise the kid na anajaribu sana pia mimi namshukuru sana cuz hey, it's it's so hard for a man kushughulika kutafuta chakula kutafuta chakula tena kuja feed mtoto na ni wewe tu peke yake umebakia ukisema uandike maid hakuna zile fans zinatosha kulipa maid so my guy mali yako sahi i salute you i salute you boss i salute you unafanya kazi fiti sana boss Asante. that's why nimesema hata nitoke Mombasa jo nimesema umekuwa my childhood friend i remember very well tulijoania standard 2 sijui kama unakumbuka wala yani <laughs> siku si anakumbuka wewe ndio umeelezea ndio nikaanza magale primary <laughs> Eh hey, lakini ulikuwa anga unasumbua boss ulikuwa anga ulikuwa anga na tu haras tukiwa wadogo nakumbuka nakumbuka at your time ulikuwa kwetu tulikuwa na bakery atupika mandazi ulikuwa anga ananiambia na kubebea mandazi daily mandazi tano tano na nikoza kubebwa na ni haras but hiyo tulisahau tunaona saa hizi mimi ndo maisha na haras wewe uko sawa so guys ha 
before we endelea kuwatch hii hii ndio introduction hii ilikuwa introduction lakini maneno yamemwagika kumwagika so before we endelea kuwatch hii video make sure umesubscribe pale juu angalia pale juu kuna mahali maandiko subscribe in, let, in red letters make sure umesubscribe na turn on notification bell ukishamaliza usikize hii video vizuri kama itakupendeza leave a comment leave a comment hii ndio video interesting hii ndio video ya kwanza nimefanya nikiwa na furaha because of my best friend Mwenye tulisauliana miaka yenye mipita lakini amenikumbuka. So guys, safari ndio yetu maanza. Nataka Kigalu ajaribu kuelezea mambo na home kidogo tu kama dakika tatu. Mambo na home venye tulikuwa tunakaa. Kigalu nataka uelezee kidogo. Eh, hey, story yako bana ni mrefu sana. Nikianza kumbuka by the way mahali tumetoka na mahali tume, tumetoka brother. Hata sasa hivi tunasema tu ni God. Ni God ametufikisha hapa. Cuz I remember very well nikiangalia situation pale home cuz I know wewe kwanza wewe ni yatima. Najua mamako alikufa kitambo sana wewe ni still young. Na hiyo ni kitu tulijua kitambo. So hiyo ndio kitu watu wengi hawajui social media. Na hiyo ndio kitu naweza waambia. So my friend, we kwanza ni sema umeleziwa in a very Siju tunaweza sema aje. Tuwezi sema a, 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 a very needy background. But nasema tu ile background at least. Kwa pale medium. Umereseo kwa background kama hiyo. But ni ile tu tunaweza afford kupata. Chakula ya kweka marambili kwa meza. But wezi weka maratatu. So bro tumeangaika sana. But una thank God mali ya metufikisha. Cause na kumbuka vizuri sana hata tangu tuanze shule kitambo. Tukiwa standard 2 vile tumesema hapa hivi. Tume struggle. Tuka soma di standard 8. But after standard 8 tulipa twist. So kila mtu alienda kufanya shuguli zake. Mi kama nilienda secondary. Wesi juli potele anga wapi by, the, by that time. Cause I remember it's very long time ago. Hata nikikuwana social media ulikuwa mechange. Paka nikikonfirm kwa nzo ni andanje kweli. Hau kaniambie nyeo ni andanje. But mimi najua mali bro umetoka mimi najua god god amekushikilia mkono na still god ako na wewe hata kama watu walikuwa na kutrolu wakisema oh siju unafanya nini but i know god atafanya kila kitu itaenda vile inafaa mimi sioni kama mungu anaweza kuangusha kwa hiyo struggle all the way from where tumetoka mpaka saa hii god will never fail us that's i'm pretty sure of that na hiyo naweza kuwashua saa hizi don't give up endelea ku focus na huyo mtoto hivi ile amekaa mnajua ni blessing from god watu wanasemanga by the way mtoto anakujanga na sahani yake na yeye ni muone mtoto amekuja na sahani yake that child is a blessing to you and also to your society ndio unajua atakuja kuinua watu wengi kwa society yetu na pia atakuja ku change life ya watu wengi vile unamuona tu hivyo astaini as you see her like that baby janet atakuwa great kwa society so bro mimi nakushukuru sana by the way kwa kuni kwa kwanza kunikubalia nikuje kunajua mtu ku trust mtu kutoka all the way from Mombasa to Nairobi kwanza unashindwa huu mtu anakuja kufanya nini hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza mimi ulijiuliza huu mtu maybe tulijuana like 15 years ago na sasa hivi ndiye amenikumbuka akuja anakuja kufanya nini ah huu jamaa maybe ako na nia yake but you trust you you trusted on me na ukiona pia mimi ni mtu wa muhimu ukanipatia time at least hata kama nitalala huko siku mbili utakuwa umeni accommodate for your help mm, na shukuru sana boss na shukuru sana mm. so guys mmesikiza kwamba kuna hii story watu wanasema pale kwa social media kwamba mimi nafanya cloud chasing kitu kwanza inafaa watu wajue ukiangalia tiktok account yangu hakuna mahali nimeweka videos apart from za mtoto na mimi so hiyo ni kitu kwanza inafaa udhihirishe kwamba mimi i'm not a content creator kama ni youtube channel Nimefungua YouTube channel wakati nime history imeendelea. After watu kuni advice kwamba unaweza kuwa unafanya ka video na mtoto wako na uweke pale na upate kanasaidia mtoto baadaye. So mimi sikuwa content creator. Nilikuwa na post pale mara ya kwanza tu watu wanishauri kwamba ukiwa mwanaume na umaachiwa mtoto bibi amaenda, unaezalea aje kwa sababu mimi sina mtoto mwingine nje. This is my first my, my first daughter. Na sikuwa na idea yote venye mtu akiwaacha mtoto wa siku nne na wewe ni mwanaume lazima utakuwa utatens wewe bado hata saa hizi si yuko poa bado unaelewa na kuna wale watu wanasema kwamba huyu jamaa anafoje sijui anasema ni story mingi obvious hata Yesu hakupendwa na kila mtu unaona kuna watu wal, walikuwa na, wanasema mabaya na wengine walikuwa wanasema mazuri so hiyo yote tunakubali lakini namba yangu ni 0790258949 ukitaka kujua penye na kama Ukitaka kujikuona kuja ukikuja hata saa 8 usiku utapata mtoto wangu anaitwa Janel tukiwa na Ukitaka kukuja kunitembelea piga tu hiyo namba nimekusomea 07 Kuna watu pale wenye alikuwa wamejitolea maybe wengine wananisaidia 
in one or another way ya maziwa ukiona ni ngumu kwa hiyo namba kuja na maziwa kwa hiyo namba piga tu simu na ubebe maziwa yako na ukuja paka penye tunakaa na tunawashukuru sana so sisi kwa wenye osha kuja kunifanya interview ama wenye wamekuja kunitembelea they can tell you that si ati niko poa niles mkiona sometimes niko pale kwa media na toa machozi nile na kuanga nimefikiria mbali unaona nimefikiria mbali siko siko job kitu kwanza ya pili bibi ameenda ya tatu amenitesa ya nne alikuwa amechoma paka nguo zangu ya tano ameenda kwa Nigeria ya sita wananinyanyasa diao wananitumia messages za kunithreaten na mtoto diao wamenipeleka DCI niliona watu wamenitumia wame video zake akisema amenipeleka paka kwa police station mimi ndio huyo napigiwa simu niende police station. Sasa hizo vitu zote kwa mimi mtu mmoja, ni inafaa nitafutie mtoto venye atakaa. Inafaa nitafute venye sisi tutakula. Inafaa tufanye nitafute venye nyumba italipwa. Na ni mimi tu na sina kazi. Utapata kichwa nitaka kulipuka. Sometimes unajipata unalia. So guys, hao watu walikuwa na troll pale social media. Kwamba huyu jamaa anafanya hivi. Mimi apart from he, hakuna mali mtu alikuwa ananijua. So, please. Please. Please please namba yangu ni ile ile tu nimesoma. Unaweza kuja mwenyewe, utembee mwenyewe paka penye nakaa. Alafu kuje tukae chini, mwenyewe uone na macho. Ukishaona na macho, mwenyewe utasema kweli. Hata angalikuwa ni wewe. Mimi sina mtu yote, sina mama, sina baba, sina sister, sina brother. Ukiona nalia ni ile nilikuwa nimechukua kama huyo mwanamke kama kila kitu kwa maisha yangu. Lakini yote nashukuru kwa sababu aliniachia mtoto akiwa mzima. Sasa hizi mtoto tarehe kumi atakuwa anafikisha miezi miezi miwili two months na tuna struggle guys please please support us in any way unaweza in any way unaweza but make sure kisupport kubwa pale ni kusubscribe kwa channel yetu ya YouTube before watch video make sure you subscribe make sure you subscribe this is the only friend the only friend amesema naka hitimu ani ametoka Mombasa after around 16 years to 15 years ago ametoka Mombasa hadi amefika Nairobi juu yangu na amesema penye nitalala atalala pale mimi mimi, mimi kitanda watu walinilia kitanda ka second and nashukuru sana because sikuwa naye so hapo ndo tutaji squeeze is now my brother huyo ndio brother yangu sasa mwenye naona kwa size so guys Tunataka tu atueleze anajaribu kutuambia views zake about that lady. Kama yeye anaweza anaweza ni advice kutoka kwa depression kulingana na venye story ya alisikia. Najua alisikia ndio yeye afike to that point afike hapa. Amesikia na yakamuguza. So hapo ndo tunataka tu ajaribu kutupatia atueleze views zake kwamba yeye anaonaje kuhusu hii story. So bro nataka kuambia jamaa kwamba unaonaje kuhusu hii views. So kulingana na historia ambayo tulisikia na pia tumekuja kushuhudia kuiona kwa ground vile iko it's very very sad as a father kuachiwa mtoto na una matiti ya kunyonyesha huyo mtoto kwanza hiyo ndio kitu inafaa watu wengi pale wanawake pale nje wakiwa wanaona hiyo si kitu yenye inafaa kwa sababu mtu mwenye umeachia mtoto ujua kitu ya kwanza ana ile chakula ya mtoto chakula yenyewe tunaongelea ni natural Natural nini milk ile ya kufeed mtoto ana hiyo natural milk the only thing anaweza fanya ni kununua maziwa ambayo maziwa inapatikana maybe kwa supermarket na it's very expensive si bei ya kawaida vile watu wengi wanafikiri yangu wanasema atio sijui ati wana wengi waachiwa mtoto na bado wanalea huyu mtu ameachiwa mtoto na ni mwanaume si mwanamke hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza inafaa wanawake muone Juna jongo wanawake ndio wanakuanga wengi comment section wakiongea matusi na wengine wanaongea vile wanajisikia atio now feel the way other ladies feel wakati wameachia watoto ambaki single moms mwanamke akiachiwa mtoto hako na chakula ya mtoto pale but mwanaume akiachiwa ana chakula ya mtoto lazima atafute chakula ya mtoto of which huyu kijana analia kiwambia imekuwa very hard kwake kupata hiyo chakula ya mtoto yenye nafai msaidie ndio mtoto wa grow at least mtoto afike 6 months anze kujitegemea kwa kula hizi chakula zingine so unapata sasa hiku noma ziwa it's very expensive na unapata ana kazi ana other 
any other source of income ako tu pale so this is why tunasema kuna any wellwisher pale nje anaweza come through pia to support kwa hiyo situation and life will move on as usual na Mungu pia atawabariki so me my views about that lady ule mwanamke ile time alijifungua mtoto na akiona mtoto ni wangu na kamuacha hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza responsibility ya kwanza Mungu alimpatia na sasa inamaanisha wakati ali avoid hiyo mtoto na akamtupa na kakuachia alisha break one rule alisha break one commandment na hiyo ni kitu ambayo atajajiwa ni kitu itashinde kimhound life yake yote na mahali hata yako hata kama alienda kwa Nigeria na mu Nigeria ako recharge siku tu moja atafikiria mtoto wangu nilimwacha mahali na hiyo siku ndio atataka kujua mtoto wakati ameshagrow ameshakuwa mkubwa umemrith vizuri na mtoto ameshakuwa great don't ever accept ha kwa life yako akisharudi hiyo ndio itakuwa downfall ya kwanza the moment ume accept mtu mwenye alishaku ku, ku alisha kuacha na kaenda zake juu amekimbilia maybe pesa ama ametamaa zimemtumwa huko nje na umu accept tena hapo sasa itakuwa downfall cause ni kama atakuwa ni kama like unakubalia shetani kurudi na ulikuwa umeshamkemea aende so my brother don't ever accept her to come back cause kama umeraise mtoto tanga kwa na 4 days na sasa hizi yako na around anaelekea 2 months hey that's a long time na na survive hapo hata ifai uko na fikiria mambo na mwanamke na huyo mwanamke ama mwanamke mwingine you can do it ukiwa mwenyewe peke yako so hadi story naona ati wanawake wengi wana kama hapo wanasema ati wao wanataka waoneke kwa wako wakwesi juma bibi zako hizo tu stories za jaba hao watu wanatafuta sympathy wanataka like waonekane ni wao ndio wamekusaidia na wajakusaidia mahali ni wao ndio umejisaidia na in fact tutakuwa unawasaidia pia nao so brother be keen Najua sasa hizi ndio watu wengi sana wanakukaribia sana wan, in, in fact hawa wanawake wana come through wengine wakitaka kuolewa ju unapata wale watu wako desperate kwa maisha wamechoka na maisha wengine hata uelewi ni wachawi wako na nia zao wanataka kukufanyia maneno wana come through kwa maisha alafu wanaanza kuambia hivi ndio nafaa tuende then wataku watakufanyia zile vitu ziliweke huko mbele so avoid those people avoid those people na vitu yake tasonga vile nafaa so long as umefocus uko na shughuli zako unafanya ku make sure mtu anakula na lala na amka just do it the way you used to do usiye kubali mwanamke kwa maisha yako akudanganya ama kufanyie kitu kingine yote cause sasa inajua ume experience zile vitu zote zenye uko ume experience uko unajua the hard thing about kulea mtu hivi but sasa unajua so kama sasa unajua na umezoea hakuna kitu kingine inaweza kustoka kwa maisha i'm very sure of that wewe sasa ndio mwanaume bomba tunaishi kusema wanawake bomba lakini wewe sasa ni mwanaume bomba eh umekonka hadi responsibility ya mwanamke na unasemanga the eh wanasemanga women ndio nakuanga nini kwa familia au ndio sana kuanga kama the key respons- responsible parents but so without without that woman inamaanisha kuwa hakuna mtu responsible kukushinda wewe so ndio kusema sasa hizi so bro take heart focus fanya vitu yako vile nafaa na kila kitu kitakuwa sawa na Mungu pia atakubariki so mimi mi ndio nikuje pale nilisema at least na naweza kuleta kile kidogo Mungu amenipatia nikuletee hata tunajua ndio hali ni ngumu hii Kenya yetu vitu ni begali lakini nilisema siwezi kosa kusurprise na kitu siwezi tutembea ati nimetoka all the way from Mombasa mikono mitupu na nikuje Nairobi ati kuona mtoto hii hata ifai mtoto kwanza kwa jamii yetu ya Kilui inafaa kuja kuona mtoto make sure umembebea kitu at least itamsaidia for the time being atakuwa catered for na pia atafurahia eh ndio pia mtu ya grow vizuri. So mimi nilikuwa na vitu kadhaa hapa hivi niliamua nikulete juu niliona zinaweza faidi mtoto mahali. Eh, kuna nini nini hapa hivi niliamua nikuje na soft care. Soft care ndio hii niliamua kuchagua small cuz I understand mtoto si yako like one month, one month, one month yeah. to two months hapo. Yeah. So hii small inaweza muingia. Yeah. So hii at least inaweza kuwa sawa kwake. So guys, mm so you at least guys hope mnaona mm. my best friend my best friend my best friend my best friend iki tu imekuwa ikinipea stress e soft care imekuwa ikinipea stress sana venye nitapata pesa ya kununua na wakati nakuja pale kwa media nikilia wengine mnanitusi so congratulations asante mungu atu akubariki mungu akubariki sana Nashukuru sana bro. So hapa hivi kuna easy wipes. Wet wipes in case kama mtoto maybe 
ako na amejitapikia unaweza wipe naye mdomo huko kando eh na mimi natumia natoa andika chief haya unatumia hizi 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 wipes zinasaidia sana so at least for the time being ile time tu tutatumia siku ile tukipata pesa pia tunaweza nunua more asante eh lakini for the time being asante 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 so kuna hii hii ndio cousins baby care hii sasa iko compilation of soap iko na oil na hiyo nini ya kupaka na inakuwa na scent mzuri sana in fact kwa watoto so unaona mild and gentle so kioshane hiyo mtoto pia na maintain skin yake inakuwa inakuwa lighter inakuwa soft na ina, inaishi kuwa warmth so mtoto hizi kwa affecting ngozi yake itakuwa eh, so hii inaweza msaidia for the time being pia hey hope mnaona hii maneno Hope unaona huyu anashinda hata sasa sister yangu mwenye angekuwa ama mamangu. Sijui nitasema nini. Mungu tu akubariki za ndugu yangu. So unajua pia sisi kwa leo wanasemanga chakula ni kitu ya muhimu hey. sana. Wanasemanga chakula ni kitu ya muhimu sana. Ukitembea, <laughs> uh, ukitembea usahau ku, kubeba chakula at least. Uh, Lakini sasa mimi nilisema acha nibebe maziwa, uh, tunaweza pika chai tukunywe na Janelle pale. Asante. Eh hata tukunywe chai na hiyo ndio kama saa tunasemanga sacrifice hiyo yeah. sasa ndio kama sacrifice yetu sasa yeah. tukikunywa ka chai pale yeah. ni kama sacrifice kwa Luya sasa nikasema acha nichukue mazao yeah. tuende tu tufanye ka, sac- ka sacrifice ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo ndio hiyo eh sasa tukiongezea hapo hivyo bado yeah. bado kuna ka sacrifice kingine uh, hapa hivi hadi yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tu Mungu awabariki yani guys unaona kwenye mnazama singe post unaona sasa ningekuwa naumia peke yangu at least ameniona na ameleta kidogo hey. wao leta mingi sasa hey. mimi najua watu wataleta hapa hey, namba naenda kuwasomea tena eh hey. so kumaliza tukisema baba mtoto naezi kosa kuoga pia kama tume surprise mtoto naye hey. baba mtoto lazima aoge hii hii ni sabuni ya msafi lazima watu wako wasafi lazima watu wangari sema tunuweka hey, sabuni hey, kama msafi hata ukioga mwezi moja si mbaya Eh baba mtoto anaweza kuoga kuoga mwezi moja ati kwa sababu hakuna sabuni. Sijui hata nitasema nini. Acha tutumalize kukagua. Na unajua baadaye litakuwa wallet. Ah, <laughs> wale <laughs> kando na hiyo. Hmm. Kando na hiyo. Hmm. Unajua mtoto maybe tuli ah, tuli yeah, assume yeah, maybe yeah. mali analala kuna baridi. Yeah, yes. Tukasema mtoto unajua kitu ya muhimu sana ni malazi. Akishapata yeah. malazi mali atalalia hmm. inaweza kuwa muhimu sana. So tukasema at least tembe na hii yeah. super soft mm. blanket mm. at least akifunikwa nayo mm. ana feel ah ako sawa. Ako sawa mahali yako. Ah. Ana rest vizuri. Na hata hata kwa nakusumbua kilialia sana. So itakuwa kitu imemsaidia sana. Tukasema tuwezi kosa ku surprise mtu hii hata alale vizuri acha tumtembelee na kitu kama hii. So hiyo ndio atafurahia sana. Sijui nitasema nini. Acha tu Mungu tu nda, Mungu ndo anajua. Mungu ndo anajua. Mm. Mungu ndo anajua maneno. Sasa kitu ya mwisho sasa ni memories. 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 Kuna picha pale niliona Facebook. Eh yes. ni hiyo picha kinigusa sana nikasema, ai, ndio naenda kutembelea ukijana lakini ni nini special naweza fanya? Ndio ni make sure yenyewe ukijana ataishi kukumbuka hizi memories. Anytime akiangalia anajua yenyewe mm. kitu fulani ilifanyika siku fulani na mtu fulani. Yes. Nikasema ni ni download hiyo picha ni ni cons- itengeneze ka picha hapa at least kaneza ishi kuwa memory kwa maisha ya mtoto mtoto alikuwa akiangalia na kumbuka yenyewe one day one time eh hata uamini <laughs> sijali bro that's life Don't worry. So ita itaishi kuwa kama memory, mtoto atafurahia sana. Hii picha nilipata Facebook. Nike edit vizuri kabisa, nikaongeza beats, quality kaikuwa mzuri kabisa. Nikasema sasa ukijana, hii picha itaishi kuwa kwa nyumba, utaweka pale juu kwa wall. Asante. Utaweka pale juu kwa wall at least. Mtoto atakuwa akiona in the near future anajua kweli baba amenitoa mbali. Guys, hope mnaona what we mean by a true friend a true friend a true hii picha nilipigwa na Janelle na mimi nikaipost 
huyu brother yangu rafiki yangu wa karibu ameenda tu akai download FB na akaenda mwenyaka akaitengeneza akaniweka kwa frame Sijui naweza kuambia nini Mungu tu Mungu tu akubariki akubariki sana 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 Mungu akubariki sana. Shukuru sana Mungu. Sio? Shukuru sana. Eh. Okay, unajikaza. Una eh. Saidi yako unajikaza sana. Mungu akubariki. kwanza Mungu akubariki zaidi ule mtoto vizuri sana kwa kwa imani ya Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa njia za Mwenyezi Mungu. Asante. Na utenda mbali. Asante. Hizi stress za watu wanapatia kwa social media na kutrola kikwambia hivi na hivi. Wachana nazo. Asante. Fanya kazi yako. Kwanza nilikwambia make sure na post lifestyle ya mtoto kila siku. Watu ndio uone progress wajue. Si lazima mwanamke akuwe pale ndio mtoto alelewe vile nafaa. Hata mwanaume anaweza manage kulea mtoto. Asante. Eh so ndio kituneza kwa advice bro. Eh usione usigive up at juu watu na ku troll na kuambia nini na kutukana. Wachana na watu. Hapa hii hapa hivi nje ya watu wote aweze kusaidia mahali. Ni Mungu tu anafanya kila kitu yake na songa vile nafaa. Juu hao watu kazi ni kukutrol tu na aweze kuwekea chakula kwa meza. Asante. Mm. So guys. Open mwona surprises kwa hapa. Na kitu nataka tukuambia Namba yangu ni 0790258949 Hii ni kwa wale watu wako TikTok lakini ukiwa TikTok namba yangu iko pale kwa bio. Hii ndio namba unaweza nitafuta nayo ama ukiwa na kiti yote unaweza nitumia pale kama 50 bob, 20 bob, 10 bob yoyote just to support me because I'm jobless, sina job lakini mimi ndio kila kitu. Na Mungu tu atakubariki. Venye huyu ndugu yangu ametoka Mombasa kukuja paka amendete hizo zawadi zote. Mungu naye aguguze tu na wewe ufanye kitu. Najua kuna moyo anaezeleta mingi sana nataka sirika alete mingi sana kuliko hii. Karibu sana Mungu akubariki. So keep on watching. Uh, unakwanga media. E, nilikuanga content creator like back in the days. Nilikuanga content creator but nilikuwa nafanya media mambo na content creation hizo but nilikam nika give up but very soon tarudi. So very soon tarudi social media. Najita Jeki Galu pale YouTube. Mm. Nilikuwa nafanya charity work but nowadays nimeachana nayo kwanza. But ntarudi tu content creation very soon. Asa. Very soon tarudi. So mmesikia channel yake alikuwa anafanya kitu inaitwa charity work kusaidia wase. So hero yake, hii moyo wake mmeona imefanya mpaka amefika hapa ni Utu. Yeye ni mtu wa Utu. Alikuwa anafanya the same thing na kina Dan Wema. The same thing na mtu kama Eric Omonda anafanya charity work sasa hizi kuna kuna unmask tisiji whatever kuna Felix Makanda na nango anafanya the same so in ro in moyo wake tu kukuwa na utu so guys nitawapinia link yake pale chini kwa comment section ukisha watch video hii video yangu yote utaenda pale kwa comment sections pale chini Uta, utapata link yake ya YouTube pale make sure umeingia kwa J Kigalu TV J Kigalu TV na usubscribe ukisha subscribe hata kama ajeka newest na ni the the newest video najua pale mbele amesema hapo mbele anarudi so guys tunaweza msubscribe ya tu yeye apatange content because yeye akona utu may god bless you so much andanje tv subscribe